Hi, my name is Michael Gombos, and I'm the Director of International Publishing and Licensing at Dark Horse Comics. Dark Horse is actually the English language's second oldest publisher of manga, next to Viz Media. Some of our more noteworthy titles uh, include Berserk, Gantz, Blade of the Immortal, most of the Clamp Library, uh, some classics in Japan like Astro Boy, and I've actually had a hand personally in translating many of our books. Um, most of the Hatsunubiku series is translated by me, as well as uh, Oriimo and Kuroneko. Uh, additionally, I supervised the translation in Dark Horse's single unit best-selling book, uh, Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia. Leila mentioned some of the more important aspects of translating, which is accurately translating the words on the page, and also trying to um, respect the author's intent, what they were trying to say, as well as what was actually written. And to not only respect the work, but to respect the reader as well. And I, I can't say much more about those. Those are absolutely integral to being a good translator. Some supplemental advice. Be there in the moment with the characters. Uh, empathy is very important. When we read a series, we might be reading about uh, some quasi-medieval universe, parallel universe, or some junior high school students fighting giant robots in, in, a, in a dystopian future. To us, that's a situation that we're looking at from, from sort of an objective point of view. For the characters in the story, this is actually happening. So to empathize with the characters and imagine this is really happening to you, that you're really going through this, is a very important aspect of accurately translating manga. And I think that's one of the things that, one of the reasons that we enjoy manga so much in the first place, is that we empathize with these characters, even if they're in situations that are a little foreign or impossible to us as readers. Uh, it's the empathy that really that draws us to the characters and draws us to a series. In addition to uh, being empathetic to the situation and the characters, another piece of advice that I might offer is uh, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Manga translation, in my opinion, is quite glamorous. It's sort of the end goal of what a lot of translators aspire to do. Uh, I got my start doing quite boring things, but, but work that was not glamorous and was not exciting. Um, one was landfill regulations at the Kansai International Airport. Another was, I did one time 30 pages of side effects for eye drops. And that's by no means fun and by no means fascinating. But all those things you learn from those dirty projects, as I call them, will make you a better manga translator. Translating manga might not make you better at those jobs, but everything that you can do will further your, your career as a potential and aspiring manga translator. And last, uh, be constantly learning. Uh, there's a very much a pop aspect to manga, being that it's part of pop culture, and pop culture evolves, and language evolves with it. So keep yourself immersed in what's happening uh, in Japan, both culturally and linguistically. Hopefully uh, some of this could be useful advice for you, and good luck in the translation battle, and uh, I look forward to seeing the finished works. Thanks!